Hi, dude! Rambo, get out of here. Johnny here with uh, Home Improvement. As you can see, this portion of the shelf is now being torn apart. Not really torn apart, just all the things that were on here, the big mess, is finally getting shifted elsewhere in their appropriate uh, places. Like the electrical, I see we had a big, big monstrosity of ele electrical outlets and uh, different uh, things for the electric field. But I see they've all been put in a box, which is excellent. That way we can start sorting through all the boxes. And a lot of all the nails and underneath have all been moved out of here. I see the saws are just put here temporarily. And there's some oils and stuff. That'll all get ripped out. And still, I think what we got left is just to clean up all the walls and rip them all off. Everything's got to come off these walls so we can expose them just like uh, those walls were exposed. That way we can bang up uh, the remaining remaining one inch boards or three quarter inch boards. Hopefully right now the time is, what's the time there, sir? 3.21. Well, it's 3.21 right now, hopefully by about uh, five o'clock. The remainder of that wall will be all finished. Um, and uh, we will probably start on this wall right over here to finish it off. We've got some very good ideas of how we're gonna be doing things. And uh, everything so far is going according, according to schedule. We're about to put on the eighth piece here on home improvement in the shop. And we have come up to a small obstacle. We've got a 320 volt outlet over here. And our board is just going to run alongside about a quarter to a half inch of it. So what we got to do now is we took a piece of... We took our board we're going to put on. And we just put it on like we we're going to hammer it on, and we made two marks. Just eyeballed it. Now, we figure well, just how long those marks are, we're going to cut a um, cut into it. Make it nice and sturdy here, so we can work. And we're going to cut two marks into here. Notice the smooth back and forth sawing motion for perfect cuts all the time. Just start it a little bit. And smooth back and forth. There, they're both approximately the same. Maybe we just, yep, just checking. Now, what we do is we tuck and Put our saw away so it stays out of the way. Now what we do is we took a one inch chisel and our hammer and we're going to chip it away starting leaving the flat end towards where we want it nice and flat. We start from over here and it just chips away just ever so beautifully. And just nice little chips like that. There, and it is all out. Perfect. Now what we'll do is we'll go and see how this piece will fit in our 320 volt outlet. And we line it up here. Oops, 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 oops. Just a second, just a second. Got her. And we come and see how it turned out, and it turned out beautifully. <laughs> beautifully, as you can tell. It gives an extra breathing room for the metal, and it's not touching on all corners. Now we are, we will hammer it up. And there we are, the last nail's in. What a perfect job. Now, this is a little bit more harder procedure here. You see, we have just cut the top portion of the seventh law of board. Let's see, one, two, the eighth board. Now the ninth board has got a lot more cutting to do, as you can tell, 
once this board's covered up, if we didn't know what we were doing, <laughs> we would probably cut up the uh, cover up the whole 310 voltage um, outlet. But on home improvement, we know what we're doing. <laughs> so, as you can see, there, this is how the board would fit. Now, the simplest way to do, without any mathematics or anything, is pretty much paint the things on here where you had already cut it once, right? There. Now we know that approximately that's where it is. This is in layman terms, of course. Layman terms means no profession, just kind of ingenuity. Next step is grab your tape measure and just measure down how much it is. And we have about four inches, as you can see, give or take. You know, it's within a sixteenth, but we'll go with four inches because it will give us the most breathing room. Uh, so now we've got our marks, now we'll just take our four inch marks and we know it's got to go about down up to there. And uh, we'll measure it up up to here, it's exactly 13 and a half inches. We'll put her over here as well, another 13 and a half inches right there. What's this other mark? It's about uh, 15 and uh, whatever that number is, right about there approximately. And now all we're just going to do is just uh, cut through here, down four inches, which is very easy cutting with this special type of wood. And there, the cutting's complete. Now what we'll do is we'll take our one inch chisel again, and uh, use it to knock this out. One inch chisel. <laughs> but of course we'll use the hammer. <laughs> the beauty of this is, is it makes such a nice clean cut. And we've got our fixed piece. And as you can see, another perfect fit here on home improvement. Right now? Uh -huh. You'll see. What should you do? Yeah. And then what? And then you'll put a hook on the hook. You'll see now. Ну вот и поясни, что ты будешь делать. I just make it, and then it, it's a little bit of cutting up on one end there. No. Just cutting a little better. А тогда криво будет. Ah, it'll look better. of the whole it's gonna be a uh, I'm on tape it's just gonna be a little bit more gap on one end there so it, you can't tell it as much see it's I, I gotta cut it just a little bit more here so it's just gonna be a nice finer cut now that state that wood can't be touching any element so that's why we had put a little bit more allowance on the cuts to keep it away from the metal which is a nice perfect fit as you can see well right on schedule that wall whole wall is now complete Next thing on the agenda is to put two nine foot something pieces along that top end. Right about up to there. So just over the top of the door, two more pieces, which will be quite visible. 
in approximately 15 to 20 minutes. And as you can tell, we've got approximately three minutes left. Uh, what time are we supposed and to be I, finished? I don't know. I said about 15 or 20 minutes from the previous time. I guess we'll only know when we view the tape. I think we've got about two minutes left. As you can tell, the shaker shimmies are in. And this piece is getting hammered. Here's, here's the shaker shimmies. That's something we can bang into. And according to my watch, it's uh, one minute and counting. But we'll, we'll already be uh, hammering up the second piece and final piece by the time the time is up. We're approximately four and a half minutes minutes over budget, but we had to do some final adjustments. As you can tell, the two top pieces are now complete. What are you doing? Well, there's going to be a big snowfall. There's going to be a storm. A big storm, so I'm just putting chains on my tires. So when the storm comes, I'll be ready for it, and all these guys on summer tires are going to be stuck. So I'm putting on a good link of chains here, and I'll just be chewing everywhere. Pretty, uh, I'm, I'm pretty smart, eh? I'm a fargan genius. Yeah, people are gonna be getting stuck, and I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna be driving like a city sucker. Morning. Nah, uh, just this uh, little tape measure of ours broke, so we just have to fix her up a little bit. As you can see, we've already nailed up four pieces and stripped this whole wall. We have dated it, uh, what time I think this was, this last piece we put on, it says uh, boarded over in May 18th, 93 at 11.01. And under there, just for the record, I don't know if it can be visible, but it says uh, truck oil change, 41 liters. I guess that was the old man's uh, reminder for telling them how many liters it was for the rig. And there's another Simpson Sears Limited Toronto, Ontario in the corner over there. That's for, I, I, I think I'm gonna take it off. That, that, that's for the air compressor, I believe. Just the. What about the new shelves? Yeah, we, got, we built a new shelf. That's kind of a temporary too. We don't know, we might be tearing them down, but for the record, where they had been built at first, um, we just built them. They might be taken off yet, they might stay there. So you can see this whole, had, whole wall had been stripped as well. There's that General Electric's uh, clockworks. Kind of funny. And a lot of the stuff that was on here we just shoved underneath. We at first had built the shelf, but uh, as you can see we don't have too much on there except for the cheese whacker. As you can see, we got three little shelves of three little compartments here that I had built uh, about three years ago or two years ago. We're still in the debate whether to just uh, put this one inch paneling up to here and leave these exposed or we might rip this out and burn right through. We haven't yet decided, but I'm sure in the next clip it will be quite obvious with what we had done. Well, as you can see, we have decided that we're going to go with the cover-up. It's a much smoother job, and uh, it, would be too much, it would be too hard the way we have the old shelves here to be cut in pieces and stuff. Time and date it uh, when we had made our decision on uh, covering it up. And it's going to be nice and cleaner. We'll do the whole room like this.
Ooh, you're so cool. <laughs> this is all I got left. Shake or shimmy. You think you're pretty good, eh? I am good. <laughs>